All right, gonna do a review on this DMH 1500 Nex. Um, I previously posted a video showing how to play movies on this unit. Um, if you want to check that out, I'll leave that up in the top corner. But, alright. So, hit this middle button. Kind of goes to your home screen. You can customize this. Um, hit the settings. Uh, I believe it is down here. Second one, customize home settings. This kind of gives you the option to move stuff around, kind of customize some stuff like that. You can move stuff. Uh, this symbol here means it's not connected to CarPlay. That is just because I don't have my phone plugged in at this moment. But we will we'll go through that in a second as well. Uh, let me see here. So, go back to the home screen. To change the time and date, just click that. You can change the uh, the date and time and go to 24 hour time as well. Uh, can, I mean, this connects to your phone uh, through Bluetooth. I haven't really had any issues with this unit. Um, any huge issues. The one time it did uh, disconnect from my phone when I started my vehicle up, I walked away from my vehicle it disconnected from my phone and then when I got back into range um, and I got back in my truck it would not connect to my phone no matter how many times I hit this right here and then try to connect it to my phone it just it would not connect ended up having to disconnect my phone delete it off this unit and then repair it again and then it's worked ever since um, so that's the only time I really had any issues with it so let's go back into settings. Um, this is where you can favorite some settings. I have the dimmer settings in my favorites because for some reason, reason, the auto dimmer just doesn't really work that great for me. Um, maybe I did hook something up right. I thought I hooked everything up correctly, but it just doesn't dim as quickly as I'd like at the time. And then I also tried uh, the time to make it so like I could it could dim at a certain time time duration i had it like set and it still it for some reason it wasn't working for me so i just leave it on um i leave it on manual and then i turn it on and off for the most part i do a lot of day driving so not often driving at night so go back into settings down here uh this is kind of all your tools here you can turn the beep noise on and off AV settings, radio, Sirius. I don't have um, Sirius hooked up or that device hooked in. So uh, input output settings. This might come in handy later on if you want to hook up a second camera, which I did, which I'll come back to. Camera settings. A backup camera is on. My vehicle didn't have a backup camera before, so I ended up adding that to this. So, so just some of the settings that you got on this thing, thing. Demo mode, obviously make sure it is off or you won't have everything, you won't be able to set everything up correctly for your vehicle. Touch panel calibration. Dimmer settings, as you see, I've favorited. So you can just click there and then it'll pop up in your favorites. So system information. Over here, you can change the theme. So, once you click into it once, you can kind of change everything. The background, you can change the the design you want. The theme, you can change the color theme. Uh, the illumination, the clock, you can also change what kind of design you want the clock to be. I'm not going to change any of those things. Uh, and then, like I showed you before, home custom settings. You can customize your home screen there. Um, yeah, this is just kind of some of the audio settings. I don't really, didn't really do much with these just because I don't have a subwoofer hooked up. I don't have anything changed too much in here. But a bunch of different settings, as you see, you could change. Video setup. Um, so that's where I believe I had to change some of these settings when I 
hooked up my second camera. Bluetooth, just some of the settings, and this is where you would delete your Bluetooth memory clear. You delete your phone and then uh, connect it again. So, home screen. Now, this over here you can customize. I have radio, Spotify, my USB for if I were to play movies. Um, and then this is how I get to the camera. I have it right here. I click that and you can see my front camera. Now everything is reversed. What is on the left is really on the right and vice versa, which is kind of weird, but I kind of use it for if I was pulling into a space, pulling up tight to a car or something like that. I can really see, I drive a bigger truck, so it makes it a little nicer to, uh, to see in front of me. Um, but yeah, and then your other sources, you click here and it kind of broadens up there can see them all there and I believe the change you just hold down and then you could put like spot uh, Pandora in there can change all these around or whatever you use the most um, kind of like my setup there so I'm gonna leave that that's a lot to do with that now my actual I'll plug in my CarPlay so that you can see what that looks like so, plugging in my phone now, it's kind of changing. I have this port right here, so that that port is linked to the back. So, this shows my whole uh, Spotify here. If I click here, it shows my maps. Um, and then my phone, stuff like that. have all that on there go back it shows you the car car apple play or apple car play my iphone so if you click here that always brings you back to the main screen have your volume stuff like that and then to mute it you just hit this x here and that mutes it so That's the Pioneer DMH 1500 next.